Sicily is full of wonders, many of them being treasures for the ancient world. In Agrigento's Valley of Temples, for example, you'll see one of the three most perfect temples in the Greek world. Selinunte is one of them and is the largest of all known Greek temples. Another treasured spot is Villa Romana del Castel in Ina, one of the best preserved villas anywhere in the Roman Empire. With more than 3,500 square meters of mosaics, it is rightfully now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The twin towns of Ragusa and Modica are also UNESCO sites, as they represent Europe's peak of Baroque art. Monreal is a town and commune, and houses stunning mosaics and an exquisite monastery that are considered highlights of European art. The collections of Palermo's archaeological museum rank it as one of Italy's best. Sicily has its share of natural wonders too. The Mount Etna, ranking as continental Europe's tallest active volcano. The nearby Aeolian Islands are where Mount Stromboli is located, which is famed for its nightly volcanic displays. Beyond its tourist attractions, you'll enjoy Sicily for its lively local culture and spirited people. Hello guys, welcome to the top 10 destinations. In this video, we are going to tell you the top 8 things to do in Sicily. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Now, let's get started. 8. Antonino Salinas Regional Archaeological Museum In a place so filled with Greek, Roman and early sites, you can expect to find many impressive museums. Even among this abundance, Palermo's Antonio Salinas Regional Archaeological Museum tops them all and is one of the finest in all of Italy. Among its highlights are the Palermo Stone, with hieroglyphics listing Egyptian pharaohs of the 3rd and 4th millennia BC, a colossal 2nd century BC statues of Zeus, and the outstanding scriptures and friezes from the temples of Selenunte. You should also keep an eye out for the Etruscan Mercury Staff, grave carvings from Giussi, attic grave reliefs, as well as Stone Age and Copper Age tools and vessels. 7. Aeolian Islands These seven islands, all of volcanic origin, lie off the north coast of Sicily. Some of these volcanoes are still active and are easily reached by boat, from Messina to Milazzo. The best known is perhaps Tromboli, whose pyrotechnic lights the sky each night, much of the delight of the passengers on cruise ships, which time their departures for the display. The volcanic activity has created beautiful coastlines of rough, craggy rocks, as well as natural attractions like thermal springs and sulfur springs to visit. Water sports of all kinds are another draw for tourists as well as beaches, boat rentals, diving, and scenic boat excursions. The islands are well connected by ferries, making transport hassle-free. Prehistoric sites can be found, as well as later sites from the Greek and Roman periods. 6. Parco Archaeologico della Neapolis, Syracuse the archaeological park in Syracuse is where one of the largest theaters in the ancient Greek empire is found. But this is not the only reason to visit. The view of the excavations as you approach Viale Rizzo will give you an idea of their extent, which includes both the Greek theater and a large Roman amphitheater. The massive altar of Hiero II dates from the 3rd century BC, a century later than the 15,000 spectator Greek theater. The Roman amphitheater is from the 3rd century AD and is partly carved from the bedrock. An interesting feature of this archaeological park is the opportunity to see the quarries, where the building stone was cut on, site for the various structures. The largest of these is the Latonia del Paradiso, where limestone was quarried since the 6th century BC. One of the underground galleries has such perfect acoustics that it is known as Leoreggio di Dionisio, the ear of Dionysius. 5. Eastern Temples at Salinunte One of the largest and most significant of Sicily's ancient sites, Salinunte has eight Greek temples dating as far back as the 5th century BC. There is also a nearby temple of Demeter. The most important are those known as the Eastern Group. Labeled by the letter, Temple G, 
for its impressive size and Temple E for its architectural grandeur. Consider the high point of the classical period. Temple G, now in ruin, was among the largest of all Greek temples. In a separate section is the large Acropolis surrounded by defense walls. Some dating from the 7th century BC, Temple C is the largest and oldest from about 550 BC and sits on the highest ground. 4. Explore Mount Etna by rail or cable car Etna is an enigma. Even its height is never certain, and it changes with each new eruption. At more than 3,000 meters, it rules the skyline with its often smoking cone. Volcanic vents, fumaroles, hot springs, and lava flows adds to its changing landscape, much of which you can explore on foot or in all-terrain vehicles designed for traction on the volcanic surface. Although not too close to the central crater, roads lead to the base of cable cars, which will take you to the 2,500-meter point, an easy day trip from Cantania to Tearmina. In the winter, you can ski near the summit. A narrow gauge railway, Ferrovia Circumetnia, takes you almost completely around the mountain, or you can circle it by car. Though towns with castles, archaeological sites, and splendid scenery, along Mount Etna's northern site, the Alcantara River has cut a spectacular gorge through a long-ago lava flow to create the Gole del Alcantara, Alcantara Gorge. 3. The Valley of Temples in Agrigento The large complex of temples and tombs in Agrigento dates as far back as 500 BCE and includes Sicily's best-preserved Doric temple. Tempio de Concordia, one of the most perfect to survive anywhere, along with it in the eastern group is the Tempio de Juno Laxinia. Almost as large in the western group is the Temple of Olympian Zeus and was the largest of them at 40 meters before it was toppled by an earthquake. The circular Doric Tempio de Hercules, also in the western group, was destroyed by the Carthaginians and rebuilt by the Romans, only to be partially destroyed in the earthquake. The entire group is listed as the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Luxurious guest rooms and suites of the Hotel Villa Athena overlook the Tempio della Concordia in the Valley of the Temples, and the garden surrounding the resort includes a swimming pool and spa. 2. Church Mosaics in Palermo Two of Palermo's three major churches, the Capella Palatina, the Santa Maria del Amiraglio, are famed for their mosaics. Those in the chancel of the Northern's core church, Capella Palatina, are thought to be from 1143, and the mosaics of Christ between Peter and Paul from about 1350. Other highlights of the church are the Arabic stalactic ceiling, the pulpit on carved and inlaid pillars, and the tall candelabra. La Martorana's beautiful mosaics are also from the 12th century and are the oldest of their kind in Sicily. The image of Christ is the centerpiece, and elsewhere in the vaulting dome, abscess, and narthex are scenes from the New Testament. The third church, the cathedral, is worth visiting for its 1453 Gothic Catalan portico, monumental Norman tombs, and jewel-encrusted crown of Constance of Argonne, in the Cathedral Treasury. 1. The Cathedral of Montreal The Cathedral of Montreal reflects the politics, religion, and artistic heights of Sicily under the Normans. In doing so, it also achieved a place in the art history of Europe. All the more remarkable because it remains today almost exactly as it was built in the 1100s. The cathedral's architecture represents the move away from Eastern Byzantine forms, but its decorative mosaics consider the church's magnificent highlight. Keep it firmly in the Byzantine's traditions. They will surface with intricate illusions of biblical texts and themes, rendered in vibrant colors and with exceptional artistic virtuosity. Artistically, the cloister ranks right alongside the mosaics, a masterpiece of 228 double columns with intricately carved capitals surrounding a garden with a lovely fountain in one corner. The stone carving is not only beautiful, but the motifs are an engaging mix of mythical, religious, animal, floral, and human figures. Many of the columns are inlaid with colored stones, and no two are alike. Just a few steps from the cathedral, the boutique hotel Palazzo Cuto, 
Park occupies a historic home furnished with antiques and decorated with paintings and sculptures. Views from the hotel are spectacular, sweeping across Palermo and the inland mountains. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.